Hi everyone, this is Lily's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. Sorry guys, I've been a little bit MIA. Just, you know, a little reset. So we're gonna take a look at, so this reading's called Once in a Blue Moon. As you know, we've got this amazing, powerful, super blue moon in front of us, okay, yesterday and today. So we're gonna see what this blue moon holds for you. All right, so we're just gonna do a choose a pile. We're only gonna do three piles. Okay, and then you can, um, Okay, there's one, there's two, and there's three, okay. All right, so for part one, you have mauve, pretty, okay, and for part two, you have azure, beautiful blue, part three, you have brown, yes. All right, so have a little think. We are gonna start with pile one. <clears throat> so let's just have a little read pile one, okay, of uh, what this mauve color means for you. All right, and feel free to wear this color. Some mauve flowers, we've got mauve. A pale lavender lilac color connects to intuition, awakening your inspiration, expanding your spiritual awareness, and helping you to let go of heavy, dense energies. Mauve also creates a sense of peace and tranquility to assist the eye and ear problems and improve your memory and ability to concentrate. It is a color of softness, gentleness, and allowance. Use mauve rays to release stuckness from your ears. Okay. Right, has some little ringing in your ears lately. I know I have. Um, okay, so where should we go next? Okay, let's have a look. Let's see what we have for you, part one. Wow, okay. We've got contract, angel of balance, patience. Mm. You know, this could really be the pile that is like the high achievers, okay? Or um, people who have multiple businesses or who are trying to start a business who wants it to be successful. Um, and it's also about finding that balance okay, through your work, through your life, and also connecting spiritually as well. And with this patience, it's like everything's coming in divine timing, which I know we hate to hear sometimes, um, but it's the truth, okay? And they're asking for a bit of patience here as well, okay? But it only means that what is, what is coming to you is gonna be something probably even more bigger than you had planned for, okay? And that's why they're saying, look, we're working out the details, okay? Leave it to us, we got this. Okay, this could also be, you know, for a relationship that you want, marriage, commitment. Yeah, we've got, oh look, see here, you're just wishing. Wishing, and then here comes that risk. Okay, so I think while you're in this kind of mindset, I think it's more about instead of wishing for what you wish you had, it's more about imagining that you have it right now. OK, because soon there's a leap of faith that you're going to have to take, whether that is for your career, your job or a relationship. All right. And that's why they want you to be able to hear clearly. All right. Especially to your higher self from your spirit guides, things like that as well. Um, shall we just go to tarot? I think so. All right, pile one, let's have a look. Let's look at this blue moon for you. Some of you, I feel like you guys are just saying, I've been waiting long enough. <laughs> Give it to me now. All right, let's see. All right, pile one. So we've got eight of cups, 10 of cups, the empress, of course, four of wands. King of Pentacles, Strength, Hermit, and there's that Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. So yeah, I feel like here you've walked away from someone, um, you've walked away from this King of Pentacles here. I think, you know, as much as you didn't want to leave this situation or leave this person, you realise that, you know, there's nothing here for you, you know, this person's not going to give you the relationship you want. Um, or even the attention and the affection that you really deserve. 
feel like he was dealing with someone who was quite self-absorbed, self-absorbed, sorry, selfish, you know, and it's almost like you had to turn your back, rebuild your strength and be happy anyway, which is really hard to do because, you know, maybe you've got kids or, you know, you're around your work colleagues, you're studying, whatever it is, it's like you've got to maintain that happy type of energy, okay, even though you're still been getting your strength together. And I think a lot of you kind of went into that hermit mode. I think a lot of you started creating, um, realizing that, you know, your foundation has already been laid, actually, for a lot of you. You're blessed with a lot of gifts and talents that I think a lot of you have kind of left dormant for a long time. And I think a lot of these sort of gifts that you have are going to be coming to life, especially across this blue moon. And you're going to have more courage, I think, to actually go for the things that you want. And then here with the four of wands and this ten of pentacles here, it's like you've got this masculine or this feminine approaching you. And I feel like they're going to be doing it in a really nice, um, kind, calm, patient way. All right. I don't think this person's going to come in and try and love bomb you or anything like that. I feel like more than anything, they really just want to kind of get to know you. All right, pile. Ooh, okay, pile one. Yeah, we've got this main male, official person. Mm. Message of concern and a message. Okay, okay. We'll, we'll just have you guys. We've got this maturity, this wisdom, yeah. And this is it. This is you guys saying, you know what? I deserve more. I know what I want. I feel like you guys are really grounded. I feel like you've come out the other side of this situation um, feeling a lot more powerful, okay? And if you don't, you will be over the next few days, right? So I think you've got to have a lot of different types of communication coming into you, especially from the ex. OK, this person wants to communicate with you in some way. This person's still thinking about you, still looking at old pictures, videos, still watching your social media. You know, even if they're blocked, they're finding another way that they can kind of see what's going on. Um, and I think you're in the phase of where you don't want anyone to come in and steal your time or hurt your feelings or do anything like that, because you're really focused on your career and getting something off the ground here as well. And with this official person, I just really like the way they come in and how they treat you and how they speak to you. Okay, even their messaging, the way they message you is really kind, it's really thoughtful. You know, I think a lot, something of, I feel like you haven't really had much of that from, you know, your relationships and stuff. So I think this is nice. And you know what, I kind of feel like it's coming right on time, right on time, this relationship is coming into your life. And I do feel like a lot of you have been manifesting this. You guys want, you know, to have a commitment with someone. Let's see, part one. We've got yes. Oh, <laughs> so cute. I'm happy for you. And see, look, you were, they say in choose a new direction. So you've already been... You're already turning, like I said, I feel like emotionally and mentally you've walked away from this person. A lot of you could be in a physical sense as well, right? And you've been guided to take a whole new direction and your spirit guides are saying, yes, please do immediately. All right, let's just have a little look here as well. Part one. Oh, we've got water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. And look at that. It's this suffering that you, you've got, okay, which is from the past. And you feeling like you're not good enough or you don't have the things that you want or you don't have the relationship that you want. But we have completions with cycles. So this has closed out. And even though you're kind of sad because this person really did mean something to you, look at you now. You're going with the flow. All right, this is more about you cre creating harmony in your life and stability here, all right? It's like your emotions are not gonna be getting the better of you anymore when it comes to that situation. You've got your ancestors here guiding you, okay? And remember like before they were saying, you know, listen clearly, listen to your, listen to your ancestors. And then we've got nurture and compassion, all right? So you guys are nurturing um, yourselves back to life, but also this person is coming in, I think to be someone sweet and kind, okay? That's what I feel about this person. They're not your usual 
love bombers. All right, this is someone sweet and kind. And I feel like this person doesn't expect anything from you. They're not going to ask anything of you other than just to get to know you. We've got perspective. There's a better way. Pause for reflection and insight. Dare to be different. We've got a challenge you can resolve. Withdraw from the drama of others. Have patience around yourself and others. Sorry. We've got a wonderful new idea. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Clear up communication problems with others. So you do have this epiphany coming to you. Like I said, though, this I feel like this is a natural born given gift that you have that you're going to be um, exercising in a sense and uh, making it stronger and really beginning to put yourself out there as well. I'm going to read you a little chakra card. And then I'm going to pull you some guidance. But I think, you know, get ready because this person is coming towards you very soon. All right, pile one. We have independence. I know what my needs are and I actively pursue them, knowing that I will be guided and provided for, what, for when I put the effort in. I open myself to all possibilities and participate fully in life. I use my imagination and my vision to initiate what I wish for and I pursue it. I am not wanting, I'm not waiting to be rescued. I am not a victim. I am strong. And that's exactly how I feel about you, Pile One. Really getting back your power and really going for it with all your gifts, talents and your abilities and just saying, accepting this is who I am. Okay? I love this for you. And then just as you start to feel that, someone comes into your world to just, feel like they're just going to settle that energy, that, that sort of up and down, sort of negative, you know, that anxiety kind of energy, this person just smooths it out with their energy, you know? Just talking to them uplifts you and makes you feel good. And that's what you need. Right, I'm gonna pull you some guidance, part one. <laughs> We've got the observer, but I'm gonna go for orphaned. All right, two fell. But this one did drop first. So we're going to go with orphaned. See, she's sad. Just like the other card, you see they're wishing. Don't worry. Okay, a sense of loss, identity crisis, recognising that you don't fit in, uh, the need to belong, uncertainty about your place. Let's read relationship. As you shift and evolve and commit to your own growth, you long for support, but may be disappointed and hurt by others who are not providing what you feel you deserve. Perhaps you are drifting away from this relationship because you're in a different stage of personal growth. Perhaps you are in a new relationship and discovering that you don't share the same values and beliefs. So you feel left out, unable to get to that intimate place of safety and belonging. Take heart, a spirit knows you and loves you and will steer you in the direction of those who accept you as you are without artifice or agenda. Don't compromise yourself to belong. It won't be worth the price. Mm. Guys, you're where you should be. You're going to be meeting your person soon. You're going to be extremely happy. Um, and like I said, keep going through that journey of, you know, exploring your own gifts and talents. You're going to be very surprised where it leads you, part one, okay? All right, so hope you enjoyed that reading, part one. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And now we're going to move on to part two. Okay, let's have a look. We've got Azure, protect yourself. So let's have a look. What are they saying? Azure purifies your aura and strengthens your connection to the divine, leading you, uh, leading you to discover your truth and empowering you to make important life choices. Immerse yourself with Azure rays to protect yourself from negative, dense energies and to find your center. Okay, so it's going to be good to have this nice blue color around you. Okay. You're lucky if you've got blue skies, you can just look up into the sky, okay? That's just gray. It's gray right now. Um, so yeah, let's have a look. Okay, so maybe guys, you just need to focus on, you know, removing some people out of your life who don't belong there anymore. Anyone who's trying to like pull you down, ground you in some type of way, you just kind of need to release them. Okay, or maybe you're a spiritual worker like myself and they're saying, look, big things are going to be happening for you. You're going to need to up your protection. 
Okay, pile two. Yeah, we've got hostilities and cornucopia. So you're going to have a lot of people around you that are very jealous, okay, of your success. Even if you feel like, I'm not even that successful yet, you know? <laughs> like, in other people's eyes, you're extremely successful, okay? Because you've probably gone out there and done what most people wouldn't do, all right? And that is really put everything out there on the line and really go for something and be really tenacious, you know, and now you've built up this sort of abundance around you that everyone can kind of see is just growing and flourishing. And with this hostilities now, you've got people who are, you know, against you, which is why you've got here that you really do need to protect yourself. This could also be within your working environment. This could be because of a relationship. This could be because you're a business owner. I mean, it really doesn't matter, you know, more money, more problems, the higher you get, more people don't like you. All right. And I, I just think that you're going to be out there defending yourself quite a lot and not really understanding why all of this is happening or coming at you. OK. And it is just because you have all this cornucopia here and they don't. Uh -huh. <laughs> all right. But it makes people feel some type of way. OK. But really what it is, is that they didn't have the confidence, you know, to go out there and start their own thing. So now they just be hating on you. But that's okay. Up your protection. Release certain people. Keep it moving. Got conclusion. Beauty. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we've got some meditation here and we've got the moon. All right, there's this vision that I really feel like you guys have. And only you really understand it. Only you really understand your path that you're trying to take right now. And that's why other people don't. And that's why everyone will have an opinion or they want to throw dirt on your name or whatever it is. OK, but you are so beautiful. All right. You stand out. OK, everybody notices you, all the work that you're doing. I mean, whatever it is about you, you are unique and you are blessed. And you are highly favoured. OK, your story isn't over. I feel like there's been a relationship where you've had to remove yourself from. All right. And it's almost like you're on the outside kind of looking in. But you guys have really been working at meditating to kind of release, you know, those feelings um, and the attachments as well. I think a lot of people try to write your story for you. OK, but we're not done here. All right. It's not over. OK, there's new things on the horizon for you. Okay, let's take a little, little look. Should we just escape? All right. All right, let's have a look. Pal twos, your blue moon reading. I feel like pal two, your natural state is of abundance, all right? But even when you're in the dark about your path or your journey sometimes, which happens, like, you know, sometimes we kind of lose our way. Try not to be negative to yourself, all right? You might have to protect yourself from yourself sometimes, okay? <laughs> Because you might say some really bad things about your work, about yourself. You know, it's almost like you're, you're, you've got that host, hostility towards you, you know. So, yes, we do have this ending here. We've got this player that was just, you know, in and out. Thought they could get away with a lot. Thought they could keep you mentally trapped. All right. But this person now is feeling sorry for themselves. Okay. They're literally like don't really know what to do with themselves because they can't have their own way. All right. And they, they've almost withdrawn from society a little bit as well, I'm going to say, which I feel like you're going to be like, no, never. They almost come back round trying to offer you something else. OK, which is really small and insignificant. But you show up as the empress. OK, so, so you know your worth. You know what you're able to achieve. You know that the love that you have in your heart is so big, it's so great, it's so vast. And that's another thing as well. I think because you are an empath and because you are so caring and kind, people probably want to make out like you're not like that all the time or this is who you really are or whatever it is. There are many sides to you. Okay, and I feel like you're not afraid to shut someone down if you need to. You definitely have people that are really angry at the fact that you have nothing to do with them anymore. Like they're dead to you. OK, and they're really upset about it, whereas you're not. I feel like you guys are doing the best you can to be happy at the moment. You're spending time with your friends. Work is really keeping you busy. All right. So what's coming up for you on this blue moon? We've got wish fulfillment. 
We sure do. So it's almost like you're going to be matched with someone else who I think matches your energy, especially when it comes to business, work, career, home, family, that kind of thing. Um, I do feel like there's information coming out about your ex to upset you again, but your guard is up, okay? And it's almost like you don't want to entertain, you know, what you're hearing about your ex and things like that, okay? You're like, yeah, whatever. I don't care. And you're not going to be letting down your guard for that person either. But we do have this emperor coming in. <laughs> Kind of take charge of the situation a little bit. Right, part two. Yeah, see, so someone is extremely concerned that you want nothing more to do with them, that you're going on to all this great fortune without them, that you're celebrating all these milestones and stuff, and they have nothing to do with it. All this person can do is really stalk and watch you. But here we have that message of concern. So they are trying to get back in there. Yeah, adjudication. It's almost like they're going to be fighting their case with you. But business, money talks. We've got unexpected income and we've got a trip that you guys will be taking soon as well. All right. There's definitely a contract coming towards you. I feel like this is something to do with work. For others of you, this is going to be a new relationship. It is what it is. Guys, this deck is a bit flimsy. <laughs> We've got nurture, compassion, Ooh. separation, longing. And this is the thing. This is what this person misses about you the most, is how kind and caring and how compassionate you are and how you just provided them with a place of peace, okay, that they've never felt, they've never had you know, and they do, they do show you this gratitude, all right, internally, <laughs> it's an inner crowd, <laughs> they just don't really want to show you, you know, externally how much you've changed their lives and how much they feel sort of blessed to even have known you, been in your space, all those things, all right, so they do need you to be aware of vanity, Okay, it's just a little bit of your ego here. Maybe you're worried about the way you look, things like that. There are so many things you can do to kind of change that to also feel better about yourself, okay? I also think that relationship probably made you feel like you wasn't good enough or maybe this person cheated with people that didn't even look nothing like you or, you know, maybe you've done a lot of comparing yourself to other people and now you're sort of worried and maybe you feel like you're aging. You know, I've come out of this relationship, I've given it a year, two years, five years, 10 years. OK, but they're saying you need to remove that lack, remove that doubt. This is your you're in a low life state. Right. And that's why you dip into it from time to time and you feel as though you're longing for something. But everything you need literally exists within yourself. Look at this cornucopia. You already have this. You already possess this. All right. So they just want you to be aware of that. And that is also a part of your shadow side. OK, that's your blind spot that will creep up every now and then. To say, who's going to want you? Blah, blah, blah. Maybe you've been told that in the past. We've got a year from now. And we've got within the next few months. And there's something better. Don't stop. So I feel like you're going to be meeting your person within the next few months. Okay. And a year from now, you're going to be in a completely different space place okay maybe even a different tax bracket hello all right and they're saying don't stop keep building keep driving and keep do you know what just keep striving for all the things that you want because part two you are going to get there okay i just think you've had or you've allowed people into your space okay to create chaos all right and it throws you off track every now and then they really are asking you to just trust in your higher self okay let's read you a little chakra card And it's hard to not be so defensive when you feel attacked, especially if it's for your work and things like that. 
But you know, you just got to let that moment pass. Express yourself, get it out, and let it pass. Okay, so we've got six, uh, six chakra, third eye, mindfulness. I'm aware of my thoughts and I ask myself, are they uplifting and are they true? I do this because I know that my thoughts significantly affect my mental, emotional, and physical health. And because I know that my body believes everything I believe, I'm not in control of all situations that come my way, nor am I in control of what others do or say. However, I do have free will as to how I respond. I choose to respond to all situations from an enlightened position rather than just reacting. A little bit of what we're saying, right? But it's hard. We're only human at the end of the day. We just need to check ourselves. You know, sometimes people need to get cussed out. I understand. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Maybe you need to release it and let it go. But just be careful of, you know, the things that you tell yourself about yourself. All right, let's get you some guidance, pile two. Oh, we've got loyal heart. See? This is who you is. All right, 35, let's see. Okay, so loyal heart, fidelity, loyalty, devotion. Evidence of loyalty will, no. Well, yeah, but I wanna, I'm gonna read it for relationship. Your partnerships, friendships, and romantic relationships all have many qualities in common right now. Honest devotion, faithfulness, and a loyal heart are being shown to you. Are you as loyal in return? Now is the time for heartfelt commitments and trusting in divine protection, okay? So it's like, you know who your people are, okay, that love you and that are loyal to you. You need to really stick with them. Anyone else who's kind of hanging on and, you know, sending negative stuff your way, those are the people that you just need to remove, okay? Because now what you're doing is you're kind of creating this sort of aura, this energy to allow other loyal people to come into your space, i.e. like your new partner, okay? And so you'll look up very soon within the next few months and realize that, wow, I'm in a different place. All my friendships are positive, doing well, thriving. I've cut out the, the weak links, okay? And then now I have this really nice person that I'm dating Everyone kind of just sorts of gel and fit together. So I like that for you. All right, pile two. I hope you enjoyed that reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Now we're going to move on to pile three. So you've got brown, and this is established boundaries. Mm, okay, let's have a look. All right, let's have a look, pile three. Oh. Yeah, pile three, we got a storm warning here. Oh, and we got contracts. Oh, okay. Let's see. Yeah, we got man holding the cone, indecision. Ooh, and goddess of the moon right here. I feel like someone's giving you a path to go down, okay? And this might not be... I don't think it is going to be the best path for you to take. We've got this man holding a coin here. I'm not sure if someone feels like they can kind of buy you, manipulate you in some type of way. Um, you know, you might also work with this person as well who you're realizing has feelings for you and stuff like that. So they're saying like, look, we need to establish some boundaries. There is a storm coming towards you and it is going to depend on what path you take. All right. I want to say this person could also be in a relationship somewhere else. Right. And, you know, you could go down that road and then it all kind of blows up in your face. That's a possibility as well, guys. Yeah. They really want you to do this personal healing um, because I feel like your last commitment you haven't fully, fully healed from yet. So um, it's almost like you need to reestablish your foundation. What is it that you really want? What are you really trying to achieve? All right, power one, three, I mean, yeah, forbidden. Because someone here, just they're saying, just don't do it. Don't do it. They are going to bring you more trouble than they were. Yeah, Grove, they really want you to take some time out to really think about this before you go down this road. I feel like this is more about a lustful connection than anything else. Um, and I think that's why they say you really do need to establish these boundaries here. Okay, because, I don't know, I just feel like they think that you shouldn't be going out with somebody like this. 
Okay, and it's easy to kind of get caught up in these situations because sometimes you think, okay, well, it suits my lifestyle or, you know, it's fine. They're going to do this for me, that for me. But this situation could really get really big and really bad fast. All right, pile three. Yeah, six of pentacles, six of cups. I feel like this is someone you've been knowing for a while. This is somebody who works really hard. And the thing is, as well, you are single, you are independent, you're looking good, everything's going well for you. And this person's kind of coming in with, you know, this fake, oh, you know, we've got this soulmate connection, or I love you, or whatever it is. All right, but they're just saying, look, they really kind of want you to move away from this person. This person might always also work with you as well. All right, they just think it's just not going to be worth to pay the price of this one. They don't really have anything to offer you other than money and a little bit of their time. But maybe if that's what you want, that's what you want. But I just think, and that's okay, whatever. But I think because this person is married or they have got another situation going on, it will get messy very quickly. I would be very careful about messing with this person. Pile three, they're like, take some time away from this person or this situation and really think about it. Really think about why you want to enter into this situation as well. You know, does that mean you're saying that you don't deserve to have, you know, someone's undivided attention, love, commitment? Yeah, we've got this mature man here. For some of you, you could just quite easily be like, yeah, but I don't want a commitment anyway. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> but I think it's just about, look, see, with this mature man, you've got sudden wealth here. And yeah, this person is married or in a very committed like relationship. But again, you guys are working extremely hard. Okay, if there's a trip that you wanna take, you're gonna be able to take it. All right, there's definitely a gift that is being sent down to you from the universe. All right, in terms of the work that you do, you've got unexpected income. So if you're kind of leaning more to this person because they can kind of take care of you or do for you or whatever, they're saying, just be careful. All right, because the universe is actually about ready to place that into your hands itself, okay? And that is because you do work so hard. Let's grab these. Let's have a look, pile three. Got Aries, Leo, Sag here, but fire. And this is the thing, I really feel like you guys want stability. And look, you're in your comfort zone here, clinging. And this is, the, I, I think what it is, is that maybe you guys haven't really had stable relationships. So this is all you kind of know, and it sort of starts to make sense. But then you know what comes with these relationships is a whole heap of drama. Yeah, <laughs> we've all been there. <laughs> so it's like, hmm. Yeah, look at that. See, twin flames coming out. Dangerous word, twin flames, I tell you. We've got this family, this sense of home. And we've got this self-worth here. Okay, and look at that. What I was saying to you about taking some time out. You've got retreat coming up here as well. And they also want you to remember what happened in the last situation. Because I feel like this is a new situation, but with... Um, Sorry, the same, like an, an old situation repeating itself, but just with someone new. They want, they're saying, how did the last one work out for you? Yeah, that's more what they want you to kind of see. And this whole twin flame thing as well. Be careful what you tell yourself about somebody. Okay, just because you have this bond with them or you have this type of connection. Be careful. Because, you know, when this person needs to drop you or someone finds out or whatever, it's going to blow up in your face. Oh, so we've got the fourth chakra. 
your heart chakra, unconditional love. I allow myself to be open to giving and receiving love without fear of rejection. I give without expecting recognition or acknowledgement in return. When I'm loving to others, I'm, help, I'm helping to bring out the innate love within them. So they also feel uplifted, worthy and cared for. I love myself the way I am, not the way I was or could be. And I extend this love to others. I teach others how to love and respect me, but how I love and respect myself. Yeah. And it's hard to, you know, because sometimes trauma is what we're used to. The pain is what we are used to. So these situations, you know, that only end badly are what we're used to. But it's about rewriting that story, you know, giving yourself a new chapter. We've got improving health. We've got yes. And we've got no. All right. So I feel like with this, yes, they're saying that you can have everything you want. You can have both worlds. You can have your career and you can have the love of your life. This person here is a big no. They are forbidden. Remember, you've got a storm warning coming up with them. So if you continue to go down this road, it is going to blow up in your face. They really want you to take care of your mental health, take care of your body, all those things. Okay, focus on you during this time. Okay. Sorry, pile three. <clears throat> Come on, ma'am. Oh, no, I don't know. No, let me just go to. Sorry, pile three. I'm getting confused. Unexpected income, a new start, <laughs> occupation. Look at that. You've got good things coming to you. Okay, especially when it comes to your career and your job. And then we've got this message of concern here with someone who just can't stop thinking about you, part three. I'm like, whatever. Okay, let's pull you some guidance. So you do have some money coming towards you, part three. Everything is going okay. You just got to work on that, that self worth there a little bit, all right? And we have by the book. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Abiding by social rules, conformity, respecting cultural or family customs, universal laws. Mm -hmm. All right, let's have a look. Uh, I want to read prosperity. At this time, you can expect to return on your investment, whatever you have pursued, be it a dream you've long cherished, a skill you've cultivated, or a service you're called to, will come to you if you are willing to go by the book. You don't need to reinvent the wheel to be successful, following the footsteps of others who have already achieved the things you're striving for. You can learn a lot by observing the structures that are already working. Your creative projects and commitment to prosperity are in alignment with the needs of the world, but impatience may tempt you to cut corners to get there more quickly. Stick with what you know works and you will attract your abundance. So yes, don't worry about this masculine. It's like, you know, I'll take care of you. I'll do this, I'll do that. Mm, you can do it yourself, okay? Because uh, that person is not really available for you and I think will just kind of drop you when they're done, you know? And that might also be something you're used to as well, which is hard. And again, it's that shadow work. It's like those blind spots that we just need to sort of pay attention to every now and then, all of us, you know? Anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. I love you guys so much. Please enjoy this, this double beautiful blue full moon. Manifest to your heart's desires. Take care. I love you lots and I'll see you soon. Bye.